Hi students, I Sandeep. Welcome in class 4th. This is computer class. In this computer class, I am going to teach chapter number 5. The name of this chapter is Presentation Software and Introduction. Here, Presentation Software is the program in which you can create document and you can put your photographs, you can put your videos and this video when we will show in one project with projector okay with the help of this powerpoint program here this there will be one question from your back side what is powerpoint program uh, what is powerpoint program powerpoint program allow you to create document called presentation which are used to communicate ideas messages and other information group in to a group to use number of people if we want to deliver our message for this we need this software that is called powerpoint presentation and in this we are making different slides there is one question also what is the mean by slide the powerpoint presentation can be used as a slide slide is a one page of a presentation okay then the individual page of a presentation is called slide the slide may be text graphic video or other things it may be depend upon the content which content you want to show then a group of slide on any one topic is called presentation when the number of pages come in one slide is called presentation next here what are the feature of the presentations means to say what are the things which presentation can support first is word processing you can create bullet you can create bullet list combine words and images find and replace text using multiple found by multiple fonts and you can increase or decrease size of in ms powerpoint next outline you can make your own presentation using outline text format you can import outlines from microsoft word or other word processing software chart you can put chart also if you want to fix your presentation factorial representation of any numeric data then by this we can use chart also then drawing drawing is used to create uh, for drawing uh, making the things like cube rectangle this for this we need drawing and next we have add multimedia add multimedia means to say in the powerpoint we can put sound pictures photographs and video clips also next starting a powerpoint what are the steps to start a powerpoint it's a it, there is one question same question will come where uh, this question normally they can ask in your exams also what are the steps to open a powerpoint very easy first click on the start button click on all program click on microsoft office and from the microsoft office we have to select microsoft powerpoint 2010 whatever the version in your computer 10 is there 7 is there okay whatever the version in your computer you can select next when you will put follow these steps like this screen you will get which is coming in your this it is in one slide here and you can put here click on slide title click on subtitle whatever you want you can put here next powerpoint windows what is the in powerpoint window there are the different buttons first file tab is there home ribbon is there title bar slide area help slide area is the area in which we are doing work next slide tab quick access toolbar slide view zoom option these are the buttons which you are using in these are the commands which you are using in powerpoint next creating a blank presentation how if you want to click create a blank presentation there are the different layout also but in your book one heading is there creating a blank uh, blank presentation then it's a very easy we have to click on file then you will click on file then after click the file you will get one new page then click on new and you have to select select blank area then after this when you click on blank presentation then at the down one they will see arrow showing create and we have to click on create then we will get a new page when we will get new page like this screen will come here creating a title slide creating the title slide you want to give the title of any slide for this we have to put on top place there is one question also what is the mean by placeholder okay powerpoint is powerpoint assume that every slide has a title any type any text typed after a new slide display become title text in a text placeholder 
what are the how we can use here this is very easy we have to click on the title text area type the text type the text which you want to give after this you will you will get the title in your slide next entering text in a subtitle one title is there and next is this arrow subtitle what are the procedure what are the steps to put data in click on the subtitle text placeholder type the text whichever you want like by student of fourth class here any here same slide is given by student of fourth class anything you can put this in subtitle next adding a new slide to a presentation see here as Karzir is showing this is the first slide this is second slide how we can put this new slide in another slide how we can add a slide in the same slide we have to click on new slide as my cursor am with the help of the cursor i am showing you this is the place where you have to put a new when we click on new then this dialog box will come and you can select any new slide okay here new slide then you can put and whatever the slide is selected by you it will come in this row where my cursor is showing next step the slide layout there are the different layout in your this presentation software whatever the layout you want you can select if you want to give the different between the both like a hardware or software then for this we need two content if you want to put this slide slide uh, slide title then title and content select holders there is the different slide uh, slide layout and whatever the your whatever content is there as per your content you can select your slide next changing slide layout if you want to change slide layout it is very easy whatever the steps is there we have to click on slide layout when we click on the slide layout with this will get one box and whatever the select whatever the layout you want to select we have to click on particular layout and whatever the whenever you click this layout automatically will come in slide it, it will come in your presentation next content placeholders these are the placeholder in which we can put our data and here insert button is if you want to put on sound this insert button is there this is also one of the question from your back exercise next saving a presentation here i showed it is given to you saving a presentation what are the steps to saving a presentation we have to click on this file then click on save when you click follow these steps we will get this box and you have to select your location in which location you want to save give the file name click on save whenever you give, give the file name you have to same same if you want to search you have to type the same name for searching also saving is used for future use if we want to use same thing in future then for this we need saving option next closing a presentation so you have finished all the work now you want to close the presentation you have to click on file at the end there is an option close program then you will have to close the program thank you thank you for watching this video